Hey guys, this is Jeff with voiceapps.com. Uh, we've got a really cool feature I want to show off today. It's a new feature that we've just added. Uh, we've got a lot of requests for this. Um, so let's get started. Uh, so for those of you who are uh, podcast owners or uh, who have streaming audio uh, that uh, skills or want to build a streaming audio skill or have a radio station, uh, any of that stuff, this uh, video is definitely for you and this new feature was uh, specifically built for you. So uh, you can already stream audio with voice apps. You can play single audio files. You can actually play multiple audio files. You just have to manage them individually. For those of you who uh, you know own a podcast or some kind of streaming audio uh, system, you're already enough work to do and managing one more set of data you know is one step too many so we're gonna make that uh, really easy for you uh, all of you who are using podcast and whatnot I'm sure that you have an RSS feed um, if you don't uh, you can host your podcast at one of the various podcast hosting sites like SoundCloud uh, that uh, will create that RSS feed for you automatically as you up, up, upload your new content and then you can use that um, with this new feature. So let's get right into it. Uh, so this is just a new skill that I just created. I uh, haven't changed anything yet. What we're going to do here, we're going to go over to the data tab and we're going to use our new get RSS feed function. So I have a Alexa dev chat podcast site open here and this is just the uh, Amazon's uh, podcast that they talk about Alexa. And right here on their uh, site, they have their RSS feed, so I'm just going to use that as an example. Uh, for those of you who don't know what an RSS feed is, it's just a, it's an XML document that uh, you can publish that provides information about your podcast or your, your streaming audio feed. And uh, so it's a standard way to describe that information. Um, most people keep it update all the, updated all the time. That way people can uh, get access to new... Uh, episodes or, or new uh, music tracks or, or lots of news sources use this as well so all of the major news outlets are going to have RSS feeds that you can subscribe to um, and you can use this information just about anywhere. Uh, so we are taking this uh, dev chat pod, uh, Alexa dev chat podcast feed and we're going to actually show you how to consume it. Now if I were to try to you know, consume this myself, I'm going to have to somehow figure out how to translate this into something that I can use in my skill. Um, and without writing a whole bunch of code, that's a little bit difficult to do. Well, we've made it easy for you. We're actually going to translate this. We're going to parse this information out. Uh, we're going to take um, the descriptions and the titles and all of the data that you need. We're going to parse it out. We're going to strip out all of the, uh, the tags and formatting functions. We're going to really clean this up for you and put it into a standard format so that you can use uh, directly in your Alexa skills. So let me show you how that, that works. Let me copy the um, URL here, and I'm going to go back over to Voice Apps and this Get RSS Feed function that I just added. I'm just going to paste that URL right here in the feed URL. Uh, one thing we do need to make sure is that uh, the URL needs to start with HTTPS. Uh, it has to be a secure URL. It can't be HTTP. Uh, the reason for that is that uh, when you uh, request it with HTTPS, the URLs to our audio are going to be in HTTPS as well, uh, which is required by Amazon. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to put that URL in there. We're going to our function is going to go off and call our feed. It's going to do all the cleanup and formatting that I talked about, um, and it's going to now give us a response back. And we can now take that response and we can pull data out of it and and do what we want to with it. So what we want to do here is um, actually just assign a track URL. Uh, in fact, this is a podcast. Let's call it episode URL. So we want to get the episode URL to uh, you know to the most recent version of our podcast. And the way I do that, again, the response is the data that's coming back. It's called response, and you start with that uh, always. And then what we're going to do is um, all of the individual episodes are going to be in an items collection. So we can do response.items. And what we want to do is get the first one. Uh, for those of you who are not uh, programmers, uh, this square bracket, zero square bracket, close square bracket is um, a way to get the first one. It's a zero-based list. 
So instead of starting at one, you start counting at zero. So zero is the first element, one is the second element, so on and so forth. So we're gonna do response.item zero, and then we're gonna do uh, dot enclosure dot URL. Okay, uh, let me show you real quick what we're actually doing there so you can kind of see. So it's items enclosure URL. So if I go back over here to my uh, file, you can see that here's the first item. And what we're doing is we're when we parse and, and process this file for you, we're taking all of these individual items which represent your individual podcasts um, or your uh, music tracks, and we're putting them into a collection for you so that you can reference. And then each of the elements within it, so like title and publication date, um, description, we're taking and parsing those out and putting them into elements within that as well. The one we're concerned about today, since we're doing a podcast, is enclosure. And enclosure is what contains the actual URL, which is right here, to our actual episode uh, MP3 file. And you can see that URL is right here. And that's the information that we're really concerned about today. So again, we've made that easy for you. Response.items, we're gonna get the zero uh, element, which is the first one and then dot enclosure dot url which again represents dot enclosure dot url okay and i'm gonna go ahead and go back over here hit enter and that'll add it and then the last thing we need to do is actually play it so instead of i'm gonna go over here to my next actions tab and instead of wait for the user i'm going to choose play along audio stream and uh, we're going to use a special uh, double curly brackets here and we're going to do episode URL and two close uh, curly brackets. And what that's going to do is it's kind of like a mail merge or a find and replace. It's going to replace uh, those brackets and that episode URL with the value of that variable. And again, that variable is we set right over here, episode URL. And we're setting it to the uh, URL of our podcast. So let's go ahead and test this out. We're done. Welcome to RSS Demo. Hello. Great. My so name is Alexa. Podcast is now playing the well, most recent version. Goodbye uh, for now. So great. So that's how easy it is to build a podcast skill as you update your RSS feed um, or your the site that you're hosting it on updates it for you. Uh, as that happens um, and users come back to your skill they're gonna get the most recent version of your podcast. Um, there's a more advanced version of this that'll allow you to do next and previous and navigate through it. We'll save that for another video. Uh, so I hope you guys like this. I think it's really gonna help a lot of people out. Again, we've had a lot of requests for this. Uh, this is live as of today, and uh, let us know what you think. We'll see you in the next video.